hello team and welcome back to the channel so before starting the video a humble request to you all please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 1000 subscribers also i upload videos on daily basis at 9 am in the morning so if you are interested in devops tools and technology then definitely subscribe okay so coming to today's topic today what are we going to do is install jenkins on windows as well as ubuntu machine correct way okay and then we can start building our pipelines through jenkins okay so first of all as i mentioned in one of my previous video which i will put a link in the description as well so first of all we need to have a free tier account on aws okay which i have already created and then going to ec ec2 <coughs> uh, dashboard and here we will click on launch instance so let's click on it and we need to generate a vm okay so if you want if you are going to build a proper uh, ci cd pipelines then you should have at least like 4 gb of ram and those machine okay so let's provide a name here then we will select os image so for now we will select ubuntu okay then we will uh, here you can see in the free tier uh, eligible section uh, like uh, which version of ubuntu we want to use so in uh, as i suggested before also we should always go with the 20.4 uh, 20 because 22.4 is the latest and has sometimes it is causing some problems which i have faced as of now okay so let's go with 20.4 then we will select the instance type okay so if you just want to test like jenkins how it works and all then you can go go ahead with the free tier eligible version which is t2 micro but in my case since i, I used to like uh, build uh, bigger pipelines so i will select uh, 4 gb mem mem memory and two cpu t2 medium okay instance type okay so that after selecting that we will select our key pair in case you do not have a key pair you can just click on click uh, create new key pair and you can download it okay also remember that this key pair is the uh, has extension of pem okay so let's select that as well and for network settings we will select the one like uh, select existing security group so in my case i have launch wizard 2 also for uh, network settings you sh make sure that you have port 8080 open okay and for configure storage i will select 10 gb minimum and let's click on launch instance so <clears throat> okay so you can see it says success that means instance has been created so we will go to our instance and click open it and then copy the public ip address okay so once you copy the public ip address next what we need to do is open our uh, virtual machine through a mobile exterm so as i uh, told before also the best tool that you can use to access your virtual machines be it a ubuntu kind or uh, like linux kind or any other kind like windows also you can use this mobile exterm okay so let's click on it to open it okay and i have already copied the ip public ip address okay so to con create a new connection we will click on session click on ssh and here we provide the ip address and here we need to provide the uh, username so for ubuntu machines username is uh, ubuntu in small letters then here we will select the private key okay so let's browse to the uh, location of private key you can see here aditya.pem is the private key we will select it and click open okay now we have selected now we just need to click ok and you can see it has started okay okay let me remove the previous one okay now if i click to start you can see we, we are back to the session so just for uh, user convenience we will rename our session let me rename to jenkins dash server okay and uh, you can even select a uh, tab color okay so i will just select a red color as we have jenkins for red okay and click okay now let me close this one and we will restart our uh, reopen our server okay okay so server is up and running now so first of all what i am going to do is uh, become a root user sudo su okay now i have a list of commands which we need to follow and make sure that you follow them step by step through this video then only you will be able to install jenkins in a proper way okay because sometimes if like it is not done properly jenkins won't be uh, getting up and running okay okay so okay also one more thing like prerequisite for installing jenkins is that you should have a uh, java version installed so for my case i will install a jdk 11 open jdk 11 okay which is not the commercial version 
so this URL we will paste and you can see it is supposed to download around 715 MB of additional disk space okay so let's click on it and depending on the your network speed it will take little time but since we are using a AWS machine so it won't be taking too much time okay so you can see it's uh, progressing and uh, basically it's unpacking the whole uh, application thing of JTK okay okay yeah so it's almost complete now okay so it's done okay so to clear the screen we can just uh, enter a control L okay so JDK we have installed next we need to add packages of Jenkins okay so for that these commands also like if you are uh, if you need these commands I will just pay, uh, put it uh, put the link of this in the description and you can download them from there okay and okay that's that command done then next we have these commands okay 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 also see like just uh, running the commands is not the complete thing afterwards also like once we install Jenkins we need to configure it according to our requirement okay so that also I will be showing you in uh, moving forward in the video okay Okay, meanwhile it's getting up packages are getting updated we can copy the command to install Jenkins okay yeah packages done and let's paste the command to install Jenkins okay meanwhile it is installing Jenkins what we can do yeah see once Jenkins is installed what we need to do is first of all we need to enable Jenkins service then we need to start Jenkins service okay and just to make sure that Jenkins is up and running we can run the command system CTL status Jenkins okay okay you can see the Jenkins service is created now at the last line you can see okay it has created the system link and Jenkins dot service is uh, created okay so we just need to like start that service and then we will configure the rest of the things over UI okay yeah so this is done let's let's paste this command to enable Jenkins okay it is enabled now we will start Jenkins okay so instead of enable we can just type the command as start and click enter that is also done now just to check the status of Jenkins uh, and also like on which port it is will be running by default we can run the command as status click enter and here if you look closely you will see HTTP port is uh, 8080 okay so we can press ctrl c command okay and finally we can copy the public ip address and as we just saw the jenkins server is running on port 8080 okay so we will put that after colon click enter and yeah so you can see uh, like jenkins is up and running now we need to configure jenkins okay so first of all we need to go on this path path to get the admin password okay basically the initial admin password okay so I will run the command as cat hyphen and the path and you can see this is the initial admin password of Jenkins which we need to provide on our UI page okay so let's uh, yeah so here I have pasted it now we will click on continue see now here in place of customized Jenkins you, you see install suggested plugins or like you need to manually select uh, the plugins to install my suggestion is always go with the first option which is install suggested plugins so it will install the plugins that are really necessary for your Jenkins to be up and running and like uh, work fine okay so that is the better option uh, moving forward like if you want to install any uh, separate plugin or if you need to build any different kind of application then separately you can go into manage plugin section of uh, J Jenkins and then from there you can choose which, whichever plugin you want to install okay okay so uh, as we can see all the plugins required plugins have been installed now we need to provide username password so for username I will just provide uh, my name same thing I can provide here but you should like provide a proper one since I am using it for temporary uh, only so I will just provide anything I need okay for email address also 
okay so once you've done that click on save and continue and see here jenkins url you can see your ip address public ip address of the vm and call on the 8080 which is the port on which jenkins is running now we can just click on save and finish and here you can see jenkins is up and ready so let's click on start jenkins okay okay so this is the main page you will see after you have uh, successfully configured your jenkins and i hope like the the video is useful to set jenkins up and running okay uh, always go for uh, inst installing jenkins on uh, ubuntu machine okay so you saw that it is uh, jenkins is installed on ubuntu machine now and hopefully jenkins is up and running at this point so i hope this video was useful and if it was then give it a like also if you are new on my channel